Hey, what's up guys? And in today's video, we're going to be going over what some consider to be possibly the best resource for the MCAT, and that's UWorld. Now we can break down resource type into two categories. Question packs and full lengths. In terms of question packs, you have UWorld, Next Step, and the AAMC Section Bank slash QPAX. And in terms of full lengths, you have the AAMC, you have Next Step, Altius, and a bunch of other companies that also offer full length tests. Now, as mentioned earlier, UWorld is a question bank with over 1,900 questions split into the categories in the MCAT, for example, Behavioral Sciences, Biochem, Bio, Cars, Gen Chem, Orgo, Physics. And within each of these sections, it's further broken down. For example, the Bio section is broken down into 10 subsections. And you're able to assign the number of questions you want to do in each section and generate just a, a short uh, practice question session for yourself to do some practice questions based on passages. And they'll throw in some discretes in there as well. It costs between $220 and $320, depending on what option you want to buy. For the three month, it's $220. The six month, it's $270. And the one year, it's $320. So if you know you're going to be studying the MCAT for a long span of time, it might be more cost efficient to buy the 180 day access version. But for me, I knew I was only gonna be studying the MCAT over the summer, so I got the three month version and saved, I'd say $50. There's also a free uh, seven day trial, but you only get 100 questions using this uh, trial. So the question becomes, is UWorld really worth it? And my answer would really depend. For example, I'm gonna go over two cases. Now case number one is if you have only $300 to spend on the MCAT, you don't want to spend a lot of money, would I get UWorld? The answer is no, because I think the best resource out there that you could get is the AMC material. You get five full length practice exams, although one of them is unscored, and you get question packs, you get section banks, you get the official guide, just as many questions as you need, almost, almost a sufficient amount to do splendid on the MCAT. So if you only had $300 to spend, I would get AMC material, and then I would go over the practice questions on Khan Academy if I wanted to do things slightly more difficult, or to just go over a wider base of questions. Case number two where I wouldn't get UWorld is if you were simply using UWorld as a mock practice uh, test. As I said earlier, some people choose to do 48 section 48 question sections and take a time and everything. And if that's how you're choosing to use UWorld, I would not get UWorld. And the reason being is you could get something like the next step uh, for full lengths and diagnostic, which includes pretty much a thousand questions and it only costs you $100. So it's half the price of UWorld. You have it for twice as long. And if you're simply trying to evaluate how you're doing and go over practice questions, the next step resources I think are much more cost efficient. So those are two cases where I probably wouldn't get UWorld if I were you. However, there are also many, many cases where I would get UWorld. If you're willing to spend, let's say you're willing to spend $1,000 on MCAT prep or more, or even $600 or more on MCAT prep, I would definitely get UWorld because it's an excellent resource. If you wanna use UWorld as a content review to apply your knowledge and test yourself in terms of how well you know the content and not just try to evaluate what your possible score is, I would get UWorld because the questions are slightly harder and a lot and force you to think a little bit more and apply a little bit more than the AMC questions would be. So if you're doing well in UWorld, you're probably going to do pretty well in the MCAT. And that means if you're scoring over 80-85% accuracy on UWorld, you're probably going to be in line to do really well in the MCAT. So if you, if you want to just use UWorld to see what content you have to brush up on, I would say it's a pretty good resource. 
and in terms of actually being able to brush up on the content. The good thing about UWorld is they have one of the most detailed explanations. They have some of the most detailed explanations out of any of the material you can find for the MCAT. So if you really want to know detailed explanations about why you got questions right, how how things work in terms of uh, the details of the material, UWorld is really helpful in that sense. So in the end, I would put UWorld in terms of priority of what you should get as maybe number three. First, I would say AMC material is definitely the best. I would say in addition to the AMC, it's it's nice to have some additional practice tests. So something like Next Step is what I would get second. But UWorld is definitely uh, number three, really close in uh, rank to Next Step to what I would get. And the only reason I would think it's okay not to get UWorld is just because Khan Academy has so many practice questions that go over such a diverse array of material, and the AMC approves of the Khan Academy material. Academy material. So if you're looking for just freestanding practice questions like that, like to go over content, you could always still just use Khan Academy even though it's not as organized and detailed as UWorld is in terms of explanations. But in my opinion, if you have the money for it and you're just trying to stack up on as many AMs as on as many MCAT resources as there are, UWorld is definitely one of the top things that you should go to. So in the end, if you want to use UWorld to review content or see what content you still need to review, so for example, apply the content that, apply the knowledge that you have to doing practice questions, I say that UWorld is an excellent resource. But I just want to get the point across that you shouldn't think that it's imperative or the first thing you should get when you're studying for the MCAT. It's, it's a really good resource, but it's not necessary for you to score highly. And a very simple replacement that you could use for UWorld is just going over all the questions that Khan Academy has. So uh, those are my thoughts on UWorld. And uh, leave a comment down below of what you think. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.